This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 where the world designs electronics and Octopart the world's fastest component search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode you will learn how to use 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor with Arduino to display the measured voltage on an SSD 1306 OLED display module. I'm also going to explain how to turn on a buzzer when the voltage level increases or decreases below a predefined value. Let's say if you are charging a battery and there is no automatic battery disconnection system then using this voltage sensor you can build yourself an automatic battery disconnection system or you can turn on a buzzer or you can send yourself an SMS using a GSM module or blah 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 just tell the Arduino to inform you. Using a voltage sensor with Arduino and an OLED display module can help you easily monitor and display voltage levels in real time. This voltage sensor is capable of measuring voltages ranging from 0.02445 volts to 25 volts DC. Later in this video, I will also explain how to modify this voltage sensor for measuring high voltages. Anyway, for now, let's stick to the voltages ranging from 0.02445 volts to 25 volts DC. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As you can see on one side we have a terminal block and this is where we connect the voltage and ground wires coming from a battery, a solar panel or any other voltage source. The voltage wire is connected to the VCC terminal and the ground wire is connected to the ground terminal. On the other side we have three male headers labeled as plus, S and minus. The S pin of the sensor module is connected to the analog pin of the Arduino and the negative pin is connected to the ground of the Arduino. As I said earlier that using this voltage sensor we can measure DC voltages ranging from 0.02445 volts to 25 volts DC. Now the question is how we know that the input voltage should be greater than 0.02445 volts. As you know my friends, the maximum Arduino analog input voltage is 5 volts and we know that Arduino AVR chip has 10 bits AD analog to digital converter. So 5 divided by 1023 is equal to 0.00489 resolution. So 0.00489 times 5 is equal to 0.02445 volts. So the input voltage of this module should be more than 0.02445 volts. Let's take a look at the circuit diagram of the voltage sensor. It simply consists of two resistors connected in series which makes a voltage divider circuit. You can clearly see the resistors values are 30 kilo ohms and 7.5 kilo ohms. Let's perform calculations for this circuit. As we already know the maximum input voltage of this module is equal to 25 volts DC. So Vn is equal to 25 volts. R1 is equal to 30 kilo ohms. R2 is equal to 7.5 kilo ohms. We can find out the output voltage using the voltage divider formula which is V out is equal to R2 times Vn divided by R1 plus R2. Just solve this and you will get 5 volts. To explain how it affects the output voltage I have designed these two circuits in Proteus simulation software. You know the voltage sensor has only two resistors which are connected in series and you can see I'm using the same value resistors. If the voltage you are going to measure is from 0 to 25 volts DC then at the output you will get 5 volts which is fine. But if you will try to measure a higher voltage as you can see I have connected a 40 volts supply then the output will be greater than 5 volts and it will definitely damage the Arduino analog pin. So with this 0 to 25 volts voltage sensor you can measure a maximum of 25 volts. But you can modify this sensor for measuring voltages even greater than 1000 volts. I will explain this in a minute. Anyway now let's calculate the current using the V is equal to IR formula. I is equal to V by R. Simply put the values and you will get I is equal to 666 microamps. As usual, I'm using my designed Arduino Nano development board because it already has an OLED display module and a 5 volt buzzer. But it doesn't matter if you don't have this development board, you can do all these connections on a breadboard. 
Anyway, the SSD 1306 I2C supported OLED display module VCC and ground pins are connected to the Arduino 5 volt and ground pins. Whereas the SCL and SDA pins are connected to the analog pins A5 and A4. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. The same pins you can also find on the Arduino Uno. The 5 volt buzzer is connected to the Arduino pin 4. As you can see, I'm using a 2N2222 NPN transistor to control this buzzer. To the voltage sensor terminal block, I have connected a DC female power jig. So this way, I can easily connect different voltage sources. Just make sure you connect the positive wire to the VCC terminal on the voltage sensor and ground to the ground terminal. The voltage sensor S pin is connected to the analog pin A1 and the negative pin is connected to the ground pin on the Arduino. So that's all about the connections and if you have missed anything or if there is any confusion then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download it from the article available on electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Get your Ultium 365 workspace activated because Ultium 365 provides a useful solution in cases when you are facing difficulties with your PCB design and unsure of your next step. You can share your project in Ultium Designer or on the web with any user in just a few clicks. You will have full control over who you want to give read-only access for let's say comments and design inspections and who you want to give read-write access to allow full global collaboration by a geographically dispersed team with editing performed through Ultium Designer. Let me show you how to share your project. Simply right-click on the project name and select Share. Write the user's email. Select Read or Write permissions from the drop-down menu on the right. and click on the share button. It's just that simple. I've added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. If you're using an OLED display module, then you will also need to install these two libraries, the Adafruit GFX and the Adafruit SSD 1306. To install these libraries, simply go to the sketch menu then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit GFX. As you can see, I have already installed this library. Now search for the Adafruit SD1306. As you can see, I have also installed this library. This is the correction factor value which is used to calibrate the voltage sensor. The voltage sensor signal pin is connected to the analog pin A1 the buzzer is connected to digital pin 4 and these are the 30 and 7.5 kilo ohm resistors and this set of instructions is for the OLED display module. Then in the wide loop function we simply read the voltage sensor and calculate the input voltage coming from a battery or any other voltage source. The final value was a little off so I used the correction factor value. Now at this point the VN stores the final voltage value. Now, what do you want to do with this measured voltage value? It depends on you. You can add if conditions to define different voltage levels or you can send the measured voltage reading to your cell phone using a GSM module or a Bluetooth module. Or you can send it to an IoT cloud platform. Or you can send it through a long range LoRa network. Let's say if there is no GSM network. Just sit and think for a while what exactly you want to do with this measured value. Anyway, in my case, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm using this simple if condition. The buzzer is turned on when the voltage drops below 5. These other instructions are used to print the voltage value on the SSD 1306 OLED display module. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program. And now let's watch this 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor in action. First, I'm going to start with this 12 volts adapter.
Next, I'm going to measure the voltage of this 4S lithium ion battery pack. Next, I'm going to measure the voltage of this lead acid battery. As you can see, it's working exceptionally well. Next, I'm going to explain how to modify this voltage sensor for measuring high voltages. Let's start with 50 volts. Let's imagine you want to measure your electric bike battery voltage. Now, the circuit will become, to measure high voltage, I added another resistor in series, Rx, and we have to find its value. As we have already calculated the current, which is I is equal to 666 microamps. Input voltage Vn is equal to Vx, is equal to 50 volts DC. Module voltage is equal to 25 volts. So using this formula, we can calculate the value of Rx, which is 37.5 kilo ohms. As you can see, when the voltage is 50 volts, you get exactly five volts at the output. So your Arduino won't get damaged. Next, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to measure AC voltages up to 320 volts. But first you will have to convert the AC voltage into DC. So, if you use a resistor value of 442 kilo ohms, then you can measure 320 volts DC. So, using the same calculations, you can design your own voltage sensor for measuring even high voltages. I connected these two resistors in series with the module, as I didn't have a 442 kilo ohm resistor, so that's why I connected a pair of 221 kilo ohm resistors. This time I'm using a DC power supply with an output voltage greater than 150 volts as you can see on the digital multimeter. And make sure you connect a 10 microfarad 25 volt capacitor across the VCC and ground terminals of the voltage sensor. This is really important. If you don't connect this capacitor, you won't be able to get a stable value. Then in the code, I made a few changes. I changed the correction factor value to 15.5 and I added these two resistors. As you can see, I'm using two resistors and each resistor is 221 kilo ohms. And the rest of the code is exactly the same. So let's go ahead and upload this program. As you can see, the code has been uploaded. Next, open the serial monitor. As you can see, the voltage is around 161 volts. Let's check the voltage using a multimeter. The voltage is 165, which is pretty close to the voltage measured with my modified voltage sensor. You can fine tune this value by changing the correction factor value in the programming. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.